In your Project One worksheets, there's an example of a fabric circuit, and it's from a, a book called Wearable Electronics by Kate Hartman. So I'm going to just go through some of the basic elements for if you're working with um, fabric and you're sewing. Okay, so this is conductive thread. And I built a little circuit here out of conductive thread. This is regular thread. So when you're doing a wearable, when you're working with textile sewing together circuits and making electronics that can turn into textiles, fabric, wearables, whatever, um, you can use both. To build the circuit, you'll need the conductive, fabric, uh, the conductive thread, but you can also create a lot of the structure just with regular thread. So if you're good at sewing and you enjoy textiles, or if you want to learn how to sew and, and work with textiles, those are the two things that you're going to be building with. I'm just using an old piece of linen here uh, that I have lying around. And full disclosure, I'm really terrible at sewing, but it's fun and, you know, I can do enough to get you guys started. This is a really simple example. I've got 3.3 volts of power running from an Arduino off screen and it's lighting up this LED. So I've got conductive thread, 3.3 volts running through here, and it's an LED, so obviously the positive side of the LED is, has the 3.3 uh, volts running through it, and the ground side also has a 100 ohm resistor, just as the same circuit you would build on your breadboard, it's just different materials. When you're developing your conductive uh, fabric circuit, your soft circuit, uh, these two wires are connected to an Arduino, which is my power source running 3.3 volts. And that's what you want to do because your final piece, your final production might be that it runs on a watch battery, but as you're developing, you don't want to use a watch battery because you'll go through so many batteries that you'll run out of money by the end of the project. So the watch battery is the same voltage as what I've got on the Arduino, 3.3 volts. And you're going to have to build something that's going to connect the thread to the watch battery. You can buy a plastic uh, watch battery clip. And if you look at the example in the worksheets, that's, that's what uh, is being used in that example, that plastic clip. You can find them online. You can also build your own. You can, you can put together something very simple just with a paper clip, with some rubber, a non-conductive material, styrofoam, whatever. So you can, you can be inventive. The, there's other materials. There's like, well, there's a lot of materials that you're going to find if you're building uh, soft circuits out of fabrics, wearables. So this one is more, it's almost like a conductive wool. So if you, you would have to knit this together or crochet or some type of textile technique, which I'm not familiar with, but... I've seen lots of work and you're going to see lots of examples of many more materials than what I'm showing you. I'm, I'm showing you a basic kit of materials to get you started, but there's all kinds of stuff you can explore or you can make up your own things because you can combine all the other things like copper tape can be used in a, in a textile context. You can start cutting up pieces of conductive fabric into strips. You can experiment with all kinds of methods and materials. And one thing you should be aware of is that when you want to use a microcontroller, if you want to have a final application um, which is totally wearable, you have to have a little microcontroller that is, in this case, this one is designed to be used with fabric because it's got, it's got these metal rings that uh, become the part that you can tie off the conductive thread to, and then a little dab of uh, nail polish transparent nail polish power source could be a watch battery but you can also buy little lithium batteries that are that are so totally self-contained so that if you had a an interactive hat for example you have to have a programmable microchip or a microcontroller like this one this one is the Florida which is made by Adafruit it's programmed using the Arduino language so you already know the language it's kind of slightly different than an Arduino Uno because the number of pins is different. 
but basically you have the, the skills you need to be able to program one of these. So that's a Flora watch battery. So you can make circuits that are completely mobile. You don't have to plug them into a computer, you don't have to plug them into an Arduino or anything like that. If you look at this LED, this is a component that has been designed to work with conductive thread. So the conductive thread ties off on those round rings. So that's a really cool LED because it, it's flat and you can actually even, if you're good at sewing, you could embed the LED underneath and just have the light coming through. So there's very delicate, incredible sort of craft work that can be done with these components. You can also work with regular components like a regular LED and a regular resistor, right? Now, when, you, when you're going to be tying the thread around these components, then you have to get your pliers and then basically just twist the wire of the, whatever component, the resistor or the LED. Like, just twist it around with the pliers and then you can tie off the thread kind of like this. So I would, at this point, I would tie this off. Okay, and you'd have to tie it really tight. And there's a bit of a trick with working with the conductive thread because the conductive thread has a lot of metal in it. it I think it has stainless steel in it, right? And so that means that when you tie the knot really tight, what can often happen is that that knot can come undone really easily. So your circuit can be really fine. Uh, you know, you can build the circuit, tie it off, and works fine, and then the next day it's not working so well. It's kind of buggy. And that could be because those knots can come undone. And the solution we have for that is transparent nail polish. So when you put a little dot of transparent nail polish like right onto, basically you just put that right onto the knot. Okay, so you would tie a knot on the component and then one little drop of transparent nail polish right onto the knot and you let it dry. And then that will basically, that will glue the conductive fabric knot all together and it's not going to, it's basically not going to come apart. So that's a little trick. That, it's an easy trick to use because you can get transparent nail polish at any drugstore. It's cheap and it works and if you get the fast drying stuff it'll dry very quickly.